Yo, Yankees fans, how's it going? I am not going to render a video like I usually do. Just because I am going to, let's say, copy what the Yankees were doing all game long. Sure, they showed fire at the end. They went down with honor. But I'm not going to put any effort like how Boone approached this ball game. Boone took McCutcheon out of the lineup. You could argue his decision to take out Andahar was because he needed, he needed rest. And we saw at the end that Walker did get hit by a pitch, so you can't argue there. But when you take out a player like McCutcheon that has a high possibility of reaching base because his statistics show you that he is basically the leader in all of Major League Baseball years now where he leads all the major leagues reaching base. So right there, already the Yankees were handicapped offensively because Kutch would have been a guy to get on base easily and get things going, you know, run the counts, uh, slow down the game. So right there, that was one instance where Aaron Boone dropped the ball because he wanted to copy Cora and he miserably failed. And we all saw that Cora made Aaron Boone look like a fool. He absolutely exposed uh, Aaron Boone this whole series. I was never a Boone basher, but he totally exposed Boone. Let's not forget to, John, let's not forget to mention John Carlos Stanton, who in my opinion, if you're the Yankees, you get rid of him. You try to get rid of his contract in the offseason. I know... If you target a Harper or Machado, that will put the Dodgers against the wall and you could create dialogue with the Dodgers. I'm not saying this is going to happen, but Stanton <laughs> performed horribly. If you would ask uh, Yankees fans if this was what they were going to get with Stanton, they would have called you crazy. But like I said on this channel, I was really one of the first ones to critique Stanton after defending him all season long saying that if he doesn't perform come playoff time, I highly doubt he's going to be a Yankee because you're not going to pay a player $32 million per season to the DH. Another thing, Gary Sanchez, after game two, why do you keep batting him seventh? After that game, I mean, you could have easily put him there maybe at cleanup or the fifth spot and moved Stanton to seventh. Where, he, where really John Colo Stanton deserved to bat. Because like I said, he has he missed so many opportunities. And if you ask me, the Yankees had this series won if Stanton would have came through on for, out of all those opportunities that he had. I mean, it's kind of laughable and pathetic that the Yankees could have won the series and every time Stanton came up in a big situation, it was really with the game on the line. I mean, people keep saying give him a, give him a year, but imagine paying thirty two million dollars per season for a DH that this showing right here shows that he can't make it in New York as of now. But do you have the patience to wait for Stanton? I don't know. So Yankees fans, I don't know, man. The Yankees went down in honor. I was going to make a video really laying it out really ranting but since they went down with honor really going down with their young home grown studs like Gary Sanchez and uh, Torres making the last outs I really can't bash the Yankees that much but um if I were Red Sox fans I want to celebrate the Yankees had that series one and they beat themselves they're really going to have a hard time with the Houston Astros who in my opinion has a great chemistry they have a great bench. They have great players that motivate each other. And they're going to have a hard time with the Astros. Like I said, uh, if you ask me, the 2017 Yankees showed more fire. But it could have been worse. At least they went down with honor, the 2018 Yankees. And I don't know. It's just, um, I don't know what to say about Aaron Boone. Aaron Boone totally got exposed. Cora made him look like a fool. And... I don't know, Yankees fans. All I know, what I saw with John Carlos Stanton, I don't think 
I want him on the Yankees. I'm just being honest. If you're going to pay that guy so much money and he doesn't perform when it counts, I don't know if I want a player like that on my team. Yankees fans, it's been a great journey. Met a lot of new people. I've been doing this for years now. I decided to create a YouTube. And I want to congratulate you guys for being so, let's say, motivated to cheer uh, the Yankees on and have them at least reach the ALDS. But it's obvious what the Yankees need. Pitching, uh, clutch hitters, bring Voigt back. He proved that he could handle first base, at least offensively. Or maybe let him duke it out come spring training with Greg Bird. Who knows what you get with Bird and if he turns it around. So like I said, sorry for this video, but I'm not going to put in an effort because the Yankees, to begin the game, the first eight innings did not put in an effort. So I'm just copying um, Aaron Boone's uh, energy. So Yankees fans, keep your heads up.